Czołem. My name is Severin Najemny, and today I'll be playing a game that I have very little idea as to what it is about, After Image. From what I gather, this is a Metroidvania, and I should be getting into those because they are a popular genre for streaming. Also, hello Zeriachi and hello Rashad. Thank you for your HQ renovation contributions. Uh, well, it's been a few months, but we are finally going to hit that goal pretty soon, I would say. Anyway, let's start with the game. I've only checked that it works, and I've made one adjustment to the inputs, which I hope I won't regret. Hmm. Okay. Well, obviously advanced. Just because I'm learning what that to do doesn't mean I should play the residence of God, where peace has returned. The war that was promised, lost to the ages. The children of God, returning to their origins. Indeed, she is gone. Those left behind are withering, day by day, from this deafening silence. The sun and stars have yet to return to their proper paths. The rain no longer graces its children. Souls once flowing in the stream are now lost beyond. their gifts, bestowed by God, and may be awakened no more. Only her whispers can coax the souls to return to the world. Okay. May our paths cross soon once again. Ah, it was quite the effort to lay them the rest, but his soul certainly should have returned to the stream. Let's go, but look over everything once more before we head back. Okay. Hmm. Jump with button. Left stick to interact. <clears throat> Every saint has their past. Every sinner has their future. Said by someone called Carmel. Back then, we were only admitted into Rubywood Village because of Chief Carmel's kindness. I see. Yeah, and we have been returning that fever by running all sorts of errands such as this one right now. I'm only doing it for the sake of arrows. <clears throat> And it was all because of the raising! End Garden has been a mess ever since! Filled with more wanderers than in wartime! The raising... Madam said that I lost most of my memories after it happened. No. Oh. Well, classic. Can I...? No, I cannot get up there. Well, I guess I'll have to make a return trip some at some point. Okay, pretty basic. Down here. Ah, let's see. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hold to jump higher. These annoyances are all throughout these woods. Hey, oh, Ree. Shit. Do you remember how to use that sword? Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Do I... Yeah, fuck this. Although there was experience for doing it. Ah, oh, shit. Well... Yeah, that's not gonna work now. Hmm. And my controller will need some config. Because it keeps turning me back after I move. I'll need to fix the dead zone. Okay, yeah, this is one way. should probably configure the dead zone so it doesn't keep turning me around. Because this will lead to certain embarrassments later down the line. Oh. I don't have anything yet. Talents. Uh, origin. This is a little bit unwieldy. Wait. Do I have ac any talent points? It said to check, but... Okay, well... annoying because I have to keep pressing the button so I don't get turned around by the dead zone. The drift. This is literally a controller issue. On this side I don't have to worry about advancing unduly. It's in the background. Huh. That's going to be confusing at some point. Okay, frogs only take one hit. Can the little guy help? Okay, there we go. Consumable. You are. Uh, quick slot. Down least likely to press an accident. Nope. It's a little bit floaty. Thy remnants shall be kept as prison bones. May our paths soon cross again. The job is done here. Now if we will return to the village and take a well-deserved nap. Oh, by the sounds of it, there will be no naps. Sounds. It's coming from that way. Ha! Try this. Nope. Well, shit. Wait, what? Ah, I see. 
This game uses the Hollow Knight style of healing. You can take a little break. not Ifrae's flame. This aura, it's familiar. Ah, it's the aura belonging to Goliath Scion. Engarden raised. How did they end up here? How is it possible? This nope. is... Phase two. Phase two. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, come on. A scripted death this soon. Madam, I want to be sure of who I was. Renee, you were always the special one, granted with the gift of the gods. A gift without equal. What gift? A gift that would allow you both to survive this broken world. <laughs> you would have loved the way we live now. Only memories are perennial. Mm-hmm. This is... the confluence of stream at the village? We were definitely dead then. Why were we not sent to the Sea of Souls? And we didn't return from the well. Is this... the gift that Eros mentioned? It seems that my power allows me to return from the confluence. Wow! A marvelous gift it is, then! Why don't we give it another try, Ri? It should be impossible <laughs> for such dangerous monsters to appear near the village. Uh, we must make haste and inform Madame at once. Immediately, the gremlin suggests we die again. Ah, I see. Hmm. Huh? Aura is curious, and this stranger has created a glamour that conceals her body. She seems no threat, though. Another ode, and the toughest yet. Hmm. The memory shard is resonating. A resonant? Seems that you cannot count yourself among them yet. Them? Of whom do you speak? Faded, has it? Then you would do well to stay away from those who dress like you. It's perplexing. I felt a familiar feeling in her. A voice sounds in my head, but it isn't clear to me. That's impossible! She can use the soul crystallization spell? And Garden raised! What was she babbling on about? Uh, we don't have time for this. We need to hurry back. Okay. Ooh, a map. Hmm. Well. Ah, I can't actually break this. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, that's very unfortunate, because this is the faster way to travel. I'm sure that if I am not meant to go here, they'll tell me eventually. Hmm. Okay. Ow. Uh, contact damage is such a stupid concept. Why would it hurt me to walk into an enemy? I can understand when they attack, but... In a... Oh, shit. Oh, well, I don't need to heal now. Ah, fuck. Oh, 
Hold that for a potion. Resting potion. Rest potions are used for fast traveling. Okay. Well. Oh, and it's a limited resource. That's bullshit. Hopefully at some point I can just buy them. A simple wooden blade, used only for training. To use katana, one must focus more on the angle of the swing, so even a wooden weapon can be used to improve one's swing, one's skill. Okay. Doesn't seem to have any special uses. I guess it's... Yeah. We'll see. Up. Okay, so it's one big swing instead of several weaker ones. Don't really see much purpose in using it just yet. And also... Do I go down? No. Shit. I think I'm lost. Hold on. Map. There we are. Okay. Okay. Well, there is still a room I didn't explore there. So I might as well go. Yeah, there is a chamber beneath. Can you actually break? No. I need a tool of some sort. Okay, well, fine. And then in here I can't get up, but there is an up. So, special tools required. This doesn't really have an up. I see that I can get higher from here. Wooden scythe. Well, that's never going to get used. Gotcha. Nope. Wrong button. That's what I want to do. So the katana is my best air option. And that's as high as it goes for now. I'm pretty sure I'm very far off where I'm meant to be. If I touch one of those bonfires that are not bonfires. Oh. 
Okay, so this was the intended direction. The village. No. How could this have come to pass? So those fiery monsters were truly targeting our village? Madam. Ifri, can you locate Madam? Pharaoh's aura was not near here. Let's enter the village proper. Madam must have set the protection circle somewhere. Oh. Echo left by Chief Carmel. Always reminds me of those ambitions and passionate days. Although he is no longer with us, there will be a way to remember him and what he did for the village. At least until this echo of him has completely dissipated. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh, what the hell? Ah. been wounded so seriously that would have been dangerous oh <laughs> fair enough also hello basil uh, ah okay yeah well uh, let me just set myself up thankfully we are not fighting anymore <laughs> and let's crack those joints And that should be all of them. A little bit of a speed run. Well, I hope it was to your satisfaction. The spell was quite powerful. It seems that Madam has fought these monsters before. <laughs> Looks like our master mage, Eros, has taught it a lesson for Ifri. <laughs> quite excellent, if I do say so. This spell. Madam would never use it without good reason. Village. Everyone, please keep yourself safe. Yeah, there's not much left of the village, though. That's it. From today on, this is our new home. A village in the Rubywood Desert. For simplicity, call it Rubywood Village. Very simple. The perfect naming scheme, honestly. Uh, hold on. Okay, I can go above the village or into this entire chamber. Let's see if above the village is more appropriate. Ah, shit. Why do I hate contact damage? Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, this will work, because unlike the sword, with this single swing, I don't actually move if I hold the direction. I may be forced to admit that Katana is the superior sword here. Can't jump high enough to get there. They've already passed through here? Stop! What, what are you doing to her? Oh. Hold on. Did we actually do it? Surely not. Should still be a little bit left. Hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for the right HQ now. renovation contributions. Arrows were siphoned into her crystal. Do not no. disturb me. Leave Madame alone. 
Uh. Okay. If you know nothing of it, then refrain from interfering with everything you see. Ah. Well, let's hope I didn't fuck things up. <laughs> Re, if we do nothing, arrows may end up like those wanderers. Yes, I know what must be done. <laughs> that should be the last one. Got him. Ah, shit. Renee, you know too. That girl never killed arrows. She just captured her soul. I think she should still be safe for now. Nevertheless, we must make haste if we wish to catch up with her. As you say. She's headed east with arrows, and I remember that there's a town on the way. Then we head for that town first. Someone may have seen her. But she would be left unidentifiable wrapped in her cloak. I failed to see how she looked. Hold on. I think... Yes. Under the cloak was a glamour. I saw a strange triangular emblem on it. A triangular emblem? That must be a clue. Let's set off then. Okay, well, we don't get to have a closer look at the lady. Yeah, and that just takes me back to where I was. It's so unfortunate when games make your running speed slower than just repeat dashing. This is the worst way to implement sprinting into your game. Uh, do I actually want to go up there? No. I want to check this corner before then. doing this now but I will eventually fix my controller so that I can actually play this without turning left right on every opportunity Not fit in there, then why is it like this? Maybe from the other side? No. Hmm. Can't squeeze in down there. At least not yet. Ooh. Fancy. Thankfully, they level me up every time I need healing, so that's a problem that solves itself. At some point, I will probably have to learn not to take all this damage, though. Uh, heal? No heal. I suppose I could use a potion. There we go. What the hell is that Pokemon? It's when it actually shoots. Oh! A whip. Let's give that a try. Hold on. Shit. Yeah, there we are. Um, there. Oh yeah, now I have no issue. <laughs> this is actually crazy. <laughs> hmm. Let 
me adjust it just a little bit. Okay, they work the same regardless of the button I assigned them to. And I'm stuck down here. No, wait. I can get out through here? No, there's a wall. Get. Ow. Damn it. do seem to be weak towards someone standing next to them. Ah, okay, so that's how it goes. Let's pop a group in here. This will almost certainly reset the enemies. Yep, it's not Dark Souls. material. Can't go that way. I sure hope I will learn how to crouch soon. Oh, hello. I never thought I'd see such a massive creature around here. I can't smell the Goliath the Pyra's aura, even though it's engulfed in flames. Hmm. So it's not an evil creature. Can I? Rainbow Plains. A place where you want to settle down. Indeed, there are plenty of wanderers here, but after the raising, how many places can you find to have such a beautiful and peaceful view? Oh, really? I don't need to actually heal because I level up again. It's nice to know what that does. Oh, really? <laughs> Should be fine, but I'll go the other way. Ah, there is no other way. Okay. What's with the emotes, Sam? <laughs> Can't dodge through enemies. Being forbidden from touching them also does not help. now have at least two of those. Let's see what they do. Uh-huh. Costs one to unlock. Boosts weapon attack. Sub-weapon attack. Weapon attack. Maximum hit points. And then if I go up, it's nothing interesting really. Something with the greatsword. 
something with the sword. Hmm. Something with the scythe, I'm never going to unlock that. Thankfully, it is all scythe. Okay. So it's basically weapon masteries. Hold on. How do I... There we go. Mm-hmm. This is a katana, I think? I'm not sure. Well, at least I know the direction I want to go. Because these are sword skills. Yeah, sure. And... Oh, I still have more talent points. Okay. This... This... No, I need to... Get... This is probably the worst designed UI I have seen in my life. There. And I can skip in the other direction because I'm guessing I'll need this. Ah, I see. I only need the whip ones because I'm never going to use double blades and scythes. Ah. have a skill now, don't I? That opens a gate down there, that's cool. How do I use the skills? Do I need to assign them somewhere? Mm-hmm. Left stick and RB. Oh, yeah. That, that's fine. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should just read what the talents actually are. Right button, press attack. Left stick upwards, press attack. Left stick upwards, press attack. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah, that's going to be useful. Not really against those guys. Now that I know they can't aim down. The whip feels like a cheat weapon, honestly. Mana potion. I haven't been using that yet. Not that I know of, anyway. Oh. Another enemy that is very weak to being approached. Stone statue. No, wait. There. Let me do my new cool trick against you. Yep. There we go. Pretty easy so far. Now that I think of it, this game did get a mobile release. It would explain a few things about the difficulty. Wait, 
No. This is bad. Oh, this is extra bad. You heal. Yeah. Wait. I need to do it properly. There we go. And... Where's the sword, dude? Ah, he went all the way there. Shit. Oh, this is bad. No, no, no. I met. I need to run. Just as I say, the game is easy. I get myself into trouble <laughs> that I need to run away from. Wooden greatsword. Uh, how about we replace the cheat weapon? Oh yeah. Oh, I like this. And I have the upswing. That seems nice. Hmm. No key. Okay. So I got as far as I could and that's it. So now I have to go back. This way it should be, right? Yeah, it will be this way. Because I opened some sort of stuff. Oh, fuck. Come to think of it, why would I want a different weapon if this one does everything? Never mind, I get to heal up for free again. Oh, that's just... That's just rude. Wait, no, stop. I think I need to swap the interaction key away from moving the stick. In the name of God, I am here to guide you. Oh? Who are you? And what do you mean by essential? Be careful! She's coming at us! Oh no. Ah, well, fuck you. That's not fair. Really? She's going to kill me with just contact damage because the game is the way it is. I can't evade through her. Oh, really? I might be not liking this. And since my potions are a resource and not... Well, no, they are an item, not a resource that I have. Hmm. 
Well, we are going to see this screen a lot. I'm sure of that. Okay, about the little guy. Probably the most annoying thing in the world. I can't even touch her. And my jump doesn't quite clear her. I also no longer have any healing items. starting to see a big issue in the design of this game but I'm not going to go back and lower the difficulty or anything like that at the absolute worst I'll just I'm not sure maybe start using the whip again Again, this sucks, because just by moving through me, she deals damage. And it's not exactly intuitive as to if I'm going to take that damage. Because I'm standing in front of the portal or behind it. controller is also a very fallible method of actually doing things here. way to defend myself is to jump over, don't give the enemy attacks that make them hit me when I'm jumping over them. Again, she's not even out of the portal yet, and I already take damage from contact. This is so stupid. to reset this honestly because I took too many hits for stupid reasons. Uh, a 
Although if if all fights after this will look like that, I might actually quite reasonably make this the last stream of this game. Starting to miss Malenia. At least with Malenia, I could have given her a hug. that I jump to the left but sometimes I'll strike to the right anyway it might be time to look for a fresh controller honestly When do I get projectiles? <sighs> the katana isn't doing me any favors here, I'll take the whip. With that I get an extra range of attack which should help me a little bit. I love it when a game punishes me for doing the right thing. That's very good design. Nothing quite as intuitive as getting hit for using my only means of defense. taking a second punishment if I get knocked out of the defense because the invincibility after getting hit does not last long enough to escape the contact zone
go. Cool. Sure. That's another thing I absolutely love. Just introduce new attacks in the second stage. Maybe I should have tried at least an hour of this game before I decided to stream it. That's about where we are right now, and it's about where I would normally drop it. Consolation I get is that I didn't spend all that much on it. to make this the thumbnail for the stream if the VOD survives. Because <sighs> this is probably the most seen screen in this game. And they put this little fuck here, so you can't just quickly get back to the boss. You have to jump over this little shit. Every time. I stopped having fun. Oh, brilliant. It's fully open and it still counts as damage. the first case of me dropping the game after giving it an actual try. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, well, that one wasn't me, but still, it is garbage that you don't get any form of... I can't dash through the enemies because there is no invincibility frames on it. So it's only useful for evading very specific things. I can't make contact with the enemy. And the one move I have that would get me across her... I'm being penalized for using. Because she's allowed to attack above herself. Something which I cannot do, for example. Well, I can, but I unlock skills for it, and it's not exactly above me. I get to do this. And that's it. Not like it's relevant anyway, because she doesn't ever jump. Right, and I'm trapped there. The only way I could have gotten out without taking damage was just by not attacking at all. Seriously. Someone will see me go salty over this and then ask, why do people think this guy is chill? is I'm not chill. <laughs> it's just that most games don't frustrate me. I am very close now to just calling the whole thing off. Because there isn't even any way for me to improve here. It's just a test of patience on how much I'm willing to put up with this. For example, I can't actually earn an extra heal in the middle of a fight. 
I need to bring in enough potions to get me through. Or just eat the shit. It's not fun getting good when the rules are stacked against you. And again, this... Well, at least I got a little bit further, but still, this is not fun. Taking damage when I'm just moving through is not fun. There's a reason nobody did contact damage for 20 years now. Except maybe Super Meat Boy, but there's a different reason for it than contact damage. I'm going to spend a lot of time here. I will complete this though. I got close. Right, this shit. I might as well reset my hit points again. Bullshit as this is. have been infinitely more fun if I could just dodge through her. Oh, great. Sure. Throw an extra hit in. Why not? And again, I can neither earn additional heals, nor go anywhere to buy potions. There is no way I can prep better than when I initially entered the fight.
The fact... I'm really going to drop this, honestly. Uh, even knowing about it being an issue to avoid, it's impossible to avoid the contact damage reliably. Because my only way to get around her is then to jump over. If I get hit, I fall down. I fall down into her and my invincibility frames do not last long enough that I can get past her. So I take two hits for free. On top of her having attacks specifically meant to fuck with me when I try to jump over. because I accidentally pushed the kill button. I can't earn more by combat, so I need to go and reset everything. Brilliant design, again. I'm starting to see why this isn't a smash hit. to let you hit me, I'll just take contact damage. Demonstrate how fucking stupid the concept is. Again, I take contact damage. I did everything okay, but because the swing moves me forward, I still get fucked. And now that she does everything double...
shit. No, I can. For fuck's sake! I'm not even sure what happened there, apparently her AI broke. She was just taking those hits like, like I wasn't even there, honestly. Or maybe it is a way to get through this shit. Just crouch down and hit her. Apparently, a one time freebie. <sighs> well, shit, I suppose. Too weak. That's why everything you love fades away before your very eyes. And you do not but watch. You are powerless to prevent it. Gain strength and don't let her down. Fuck. Okay, what did I get for all this bullshit? Hmm. 
nothing in here. I have talent points, I suppose. Let's boost my maximum hit points and hope for the best. Apparently I will need more durability. But seriously, what did I get? Equipment? No. No rings, no new outfits. Nothing. I wonder what this is for. Probably for healing. Read to unlock a powerful weapon skill in Talon. Okay. Can't use. Can't use. Yeah. Great. Brilliant. If I can't use it, why would they tell me to read it? A weapon shop. Used to awaken latent memories of weapons. Well, I don't really have any weapons that I want to awaken just yet. Wait, surely there has to be something else I can get here. No, there isn't. A weapon shop where you don't actually buy anything, you just steal an item. Very cool game. Perfect example of, well, whatever it is. Hmm. I really need to swap the in interact input. Hold on. Oh god, oh no! There is no swapping the interact input, it's just up. Welcome, travelers from afar, to Resting Town. Excuse me, have you ever seen a girl pass through here whose cloak bears a triangular emblem? No, can't say I have. Might want to ask around, though. Can I not? Ah, flower of confluence. An exotic flower blooming at the confluence, containing the power of the stream. Uh-huh, yep. Oh, I see. So this is a fast travel point that I don't need to use any resources for. After the raising, such tranquil and fertile town seems like a never neverland. It's tempting to spend time here, but great adventures don't stop at Newby Village forever. Isn't that right, Branda? So is it Resting Town or Newbie Town? Most creatures with souls will return to the stream after they die, and their body will soon pass away and return to Earth as it fades and becomes energy. Some strong life forms, however, still have some strength left within their soulless body after death. In this case, their body might unconsciously move and attack whatever they see. We call them Wanderers. 
Wanderers from strong lifeforms are a threat to weak people. As mages who guard mankind, it is our responsibility to refine those bodies who might become wanderers and to eliminate all hidden dangers. The refined prism bones may also be placed at the cemetery of resting path in memories of the dead. The essence of refilling corpses is to stop all life reactions of the body. Refining. As soon as possible. Which in practice is to drain the left energies out. Without energy, dead bodies have no chance to become wanderers. However, certain exotic fanatics seem to have mastered a completely reversed art that can catalyze the bodies into controllable wanderers. Such act poses a threat to Engarden and must be stopped by force. Okay, so they have their own version of cultists and their own version of places I can't reach. ring. I don't have one of those yet. What does it do? Slightly recovers mana when hit points are recovered and main weapon attack is increased by one. Sure. Hmm. Okay, well. Ah, I haven't seen you before. Welcome to Conjurer Alice's. Conjurer? What dish do you have here? As long as you can find me the ingredients, I can make the best mushroom dish in all of Engarden. Ooh, I've never heard of a conjurer asking her customers for ingredients. Excuse me. I wonder if you've seen a girl whose cloak bore a triangular emblem? Hmm, none comes to mind. Master Mage Ripe knows much, though, so he might have seen her. He's not in town at the moment. You can find him at Resting Well. Just walk alongside the resting path to the right. Cool. Ah, it's you! Have you brought me- No. It spells darkness for 30 minutes. Sure. Let's grab two. And that's it. Forty mushrooms, add a little water, then some... Oh, not another failure. Hello, stranger. Beginner's Guide to Magic, Resting Candles, Ritual Flowers. I have all you want. What do you need? Mind Warp Potion. Sure, let's just immediately get hit with that thing. Are you making a Mind Warp Potion for self-defense? How did you know? Are you a mage as well? My master is a powerful mage. How nice! I want to go and search for master too, but I need some potions for defense. I'm close to completing them. I see you know better than me. Can you help me find these things? They are common in Rainbow Plains. Of course, I will pay you for your efforts. Okay, oh no. I'll see if I can bring them to you. Oh no, they want me to I'm grind. So close. One more attempt and I can start searching for master. Uh Excuse about me. the path. Do you know where this path leads? This path? Travel eastward from the next crossroad and you will be at the resting path. But I heard monsters are lurking about recently. Monsters? 
Those monsters are quite fierce. M mayhaps magic will have a better effect. Right. I'm so close. One more attempt and I can start searching for Master. Have you seen a mysterious girl? Have you seen a girl pass by with a triangular emblem on her cloak? A triangular emblem? Nay, why don't you go ask Master Mage Ripe? He's at the resting path ahead. Uh, fine. I wanted to buy weapons though. Because I'm not happy with the garbage I'm using currently. Something. Oh, I see. That works. A bit of cash and someone's supplies. Good enough. And shit. These are horrible controls, I have to say. I really not buy anything in here. No. By the looks of it, there's only one more chest up there if I can get there eventually. say I'm impressed with the game so far. While it was still relatively easy, I didn't mind, but... This contact damage bullshit is really just taking all the joy out of it. Again, really? again a potion that I don't really want Hold on. If I can just stand between those, what's the difficulty here? No. Oh. That's... That's foreground, not an actual item. Okay, 
Well, it's definitely way too early for me to be here, considering there is no way for me to go forward. Okay, I guess I'm going this way. Cleverly made it impossible to actually get anywhere without the next upgrade. Mm. Now I can sadly only learn of those places existing, and that's about it. Wait. Uh, this way? No, there's nothing there. Didn't I get locked out of here as well? Yeah. So where the hell am I supposed to go? Can't go down. Can't go up. Apparently I can get back... No. Apparently I can get down from the little place I was in. Not sure how. Might as well heal while I'm here. Okay, so I go down here, and then down where? From inside? Doesn't look like it. Something is still locked out. <sighs> oh, I was here, but I got stuck on terrain I couldn't cross. There's nothing in here that I can do. They did want me to go to Rainbow Plains and grind stuff, but... Do I want to go there? These things will spawn. Sheep. How clever. Am I really missing something? Maybe. 
Maybe I'm just meant to keep going down. No, that won't work. Because I can't get under the thing. Or maybe I do have an ability of some sort that I'm missing out on. Ah! Ah, well, okay, that's nothing. is not doing a great job right now at communicating where the hell am I supposed to go. Oh, and this actually does damage. Down here. Oh, that's funny. I can bounce projectiles off. I, I, I think it's this way. This is the only way. Right now. No. Okay, well. What the hell? They gave me a health potion, but it's still bullshit. I'm on the right track at least, so that's nice. Hmm, where does this go? a little bit pointless if I can just walk through it. Ah, oh, well, I got nothing. I 
do want to get up there. Ah. What the hell is this Raymond looking thing? <laughs> oh. I'm curious as to the logistics of it, because you'd need a very specialized organ to be able to helicopter. That one's kind of cute. Oh, well, cute and dangerous. This way. Thankfully, it oh shit! It doesn't take a lot of finesse to use a greatsword in this game. Exploration reward, and that's it. Okay, well, how about this place first? This looks like a lot less effort. Oh, what the hell? Exactly what I don't need. No, oh, fuck. There's a one-way barrier, that's the problem. And now that that's removed, I can go back here. All the way. Wait, wrong interactable. What I want is the fruit. Not what? I still wish I could buy some healing potions, but at least I have the healing item. Oh, well, no! Wait a fuck. Can I eat those grapes at least? I'm a 
not even mad. This is just more convenient. Sealed one too. Nope. Some of this is just legitimate bullshit. Meme. Face like that, it probably is a meme. Wait, what? Is this an enemy? It is. But I can only disable them temporarily. They're not actually a killable enemy. That's a little bit stupid, but okay, sure. Wait, is this? Yes. Says coin. It shakes, but I can't jump down. Fair enough. Oh, wait. Nothing I can do in this area. I can drop down here and get minions to death. This was supposed to be a little bit exciting at least. So far I had a frustrating fight and a lot of rather boring exploration. I think I had enough for today. Maybe it will go better some other time. 
yeah. So right now, it's just not gripping me the way I would have expected it to. There was a little bit of story, but it's honestly more confusing with how many terms they introduce all at once. I mean, yeah, I can figure out. Basically, everyone turns into a zombie if they don't get drained of leftover life force when they die. To say that I find it particularly exciting right now... Not to mention the, the, the very concept of contact damage is just murdering this for me. Okay, yeah. We're going to call it a day here. And tomorrow is the actual exciting thing to do, which will be the early, well, the playtest for Mecha Break. That's the one I'm actually breaking my sleep schedule for. <sighs> in fact, I might actually be doing that in like, what, four hours? No, six from now. We'll see. But, as far as this one goes, for today, that will be it. To those of you who joined me, thank you very much. To those of you who will catch the VOD, I will preserve it. For now at least, but... Yeah. And why is this responding to my keyboard? Oh, for fuck's sake, this, this game is just... It's something. Anyway, once again, to those of you who joined me, thank you very much. To those of you who will catch the VOD, thank you as well. Dziękuję i do następnego razu.